hi guys welcome to my youtube channel the gomba gomba lamo fama dini and this is rondo unfiltered i am a medical student and i focus on academic content study related things university content and especially med school things so today i'm going to be giving you a video of how i got my distinction on physical sciences and it is important to note that physical sciences was one of my highest marks in metric in my metric final i was like yeah I earned that. Like, I got that mark straight up. I worked hard for it. So, um, it's also important for me to give a shout out to my teachers, Mrs. Achama and Mrs. Sheena from Tengo High School, who helped me so much to see that I do have potential in physical sciences. And it was my favorite subject. Maths was not my favorite subject, but I did manage to get a distinction. And if you haven't watched on a video, about where i talk about how i got a distinction in mathematics please do watch it it's so important and it's also going to help you understand even the physical sciences one better so with physical sciences it was in the previous years it was not my favorite but in grade 12 it was my favorite because i learned some things that showed me that you know what you're actually good at this so i am going to give you those tips and i am going to tell you guys how I did it so that you can apply the same formulas and I guarantee you, you're going to come back to this video and tell me that you did get your distinction, okay? So, first things first, we do know that physical sciences is divided into two. It is chemistry and then you also have your physics. Chemistry, physics. So with chemistry and physics, two different concepts, but they make up a physical sciences mark. So your mark is going to come out from those two subjects and it's important to know that if you feel that you are very strong with physics you have to also make sure that you're strong with chemistry so i personally i was very strong with physics but chemistry i wasn't as much strong but i eventually learned to balance the both and i am grateful i did that because they came out so beautifully when those marks were eventually combined together, right? So the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys to do is the same thing that I always tell you guys is to create a countdown. And I'm not going to dwell more into that because I have stated it in my previous videos that you do a countdown to say that you are going to be writing exams uh, your physics exam on this date and on this date and you kind of see how much time you still have till those exam dates right so the second thing that i'm going to move on now because i want to tell you so much about physics and how to do it like i just don't want to tell you theoretical stuff i want to tell you things that work okay so the second thing that you're going to do is to weigh your options so i have created a description and i'm going to show you right now on paper that this is how you weigh on physical sciences the biggest topics are this and this so i'm showing you now okay guys please excuse my bad handwriting i am in medical school so my handwriting is adapting to a doctor's handwriting i'm just joking guys just jokes okay so with physical sciences we have chemistry and we have physics and i'm going to go down to my basic explanation which is for chemistry the biggest contributor to your chemistry mark is chemical change with 92 marks sorry 92 marks not 92 percent 92 marks and then with your physics the biggest one is mechanics with 65 marks in a paper and then we have electricity and magnetism with 55 marks so obviously you have to spend more time on the big topics than the small topics you spend less time on them meaning that you concentrate mainly on mechanics electricity and magnetism and then with chemistry at least you have only two topics it's chemical change and matter and materials okay so this is what i was explaining so there you go this is in your exam guideline if you haven't downloaded your exam guideline i don't know why you haven't because why okay so after now you have established that this are your biggest topics and this is how much they are weighing you now see where you have to spend a lot of time on so physical sciences is different from mathematics because you have a lot more theory than in mathematics like in physical sciences you have to know your definitions you have to know how to apply that theory into practical work and a lot of people study it the same way they do maths and it's not the same it's not the same stuff you're not doing the same things it's just that physics does has calculation chemistry does have calculations but it's not as much as physics so i want you guys to separate those two things separate 
how you study maths with how you study physical sciences and this is how you study physical sciences so with your physics paper what you're going to do is the first so we are going to have two hours okay you study you do physical sciences two hours a day so you're going to alternate for example i'm going to explain here okay now so with your physics physical sciences paper here here's the thing you have multiple choice questions which are 20 marks per paper and a lot of people you guys do not practice multiple choice questions and that is the reason why a lot of your marks you go through the multiple choice first and you don't understand anything therefore you skip it and you end up losing focus so you have to nail the multiple choice first before you can go to question two so it means you have to practice your 20 marks which is a multiple choice question because multiple choice questions a lot of people go like they don't repeat past question papers with multiple choice questions but here's the thing guys they do repeat they ask almost the same thing it's just that they're going to use different words okay now we're going to come to my breakdown in which i have created this breakdown based on how it worked for me in my metric year so two hours a day is going to guarantee you a distinction so this is what you do two hours the first 30 minutes oh yes the first 30 minutes is oh it's important to know that these two hours you alternate between physics and chemistry depending on the day it means if you do monday and you do physics tuesday you have to do chemistry okay so this two hours 30 minutes you are going to focus on the exam guideline did you hear me say a textbook no an exam guideline the physical sciences exam guideline provides each and everything that you will meet in the exam and i do advise you to use it the textbook you are wasting your time use the exam guideline i am emphasizing it in capital letters use the exam guideline so with the exam guideline you will get to learn definitions your definitions are important you get a lot of marks from definitions almost each and every question in physical sciences it starts with a definition so you have to study your definitions on your exam guideline and then you can also focus on the theory work as well and then for the next hour you are now going to focus on your past paper and your past papers you're going to do them depending on what topic you're focusing let's say you're focusing on mechanics it means you're going to do your question papers if you have realized once you get used to your question papers the first few questions of the paper you know like for example in mechanics question i think it's question two yeah in math in mechanics obviously the first question might be uh, state newton's second law and words and then you state it and then the following questions basic things the last question is the tricky one so save your energy for the last question and if that last question is giving you problems can you please move to the next question you will come back to it after you have written everything and then okay the next 30 minutes you are now going to do multiple choice 30 minutes each and every day you do multiple choice questions guys multiple choice questions i do emphasize on the fact that if you do multiple choice you already have 20 marks in the bag i am pretty sure that in my exam paper i got 20 out of 20 for multiple choices in both chemistry and physics because my teachers actually emphasized that we need to do multiple choice questions and i know that a lot of people they do not practice this they eventually they just go straight to the main thing i want to do the question paper straight up so this is what i have derived and listen to more advices that i'm going to be giving you guys so these are some of the things that i'm going to tell you about your physical sciences paper the usage of a calculator i did also mention on my mathematics video that you are not going to go into that exam room with a calculator that's not working because i am telling you not to do so right now please if your calculator has been giving you problems from the beginning of the year change that calculator would you rather fail a physical sciences paper or just buy a new calculator or maybe ask someone who's a new calculator maybe they're doing their previous like other grades and so on so use a calculator that works okay that's an emphasis and then the other thing is i want to teach you guys how to do past question papers because i believe that a lot of people have had this past paper thing 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 for a really long time but you just don't know how to use the past question papers that i'm telling you guys about okay so i am going to teach you how to use past question papers it's physical sciences a lot of people do this one mistake they do not use board mass. guys physical sciences we also use board mass. for example brackets 
others you do brackets before you deal with other things you deal with brackets before you do square roots so a lot of people do not use that thing like board mass multiplication uh addition you multiply before you subtract you get what i'm saying so please utilize the same tricks that you were given in mathematics for calculations you have to use them but must you have to use them then another thing that a lot of people do not do when they're going to write their physical sciences paper is they do not practice their experiments and they do not know how to draw a graph <laughs> side eye why are you going to write a physical sciences paper without doing you know you, you haven't practiced the practicals like there is a practical session where you have to know guys you have to know things like the independent variable and all those things and if they tell you to draw a graph you have to do it and some of these questions i guarantee you that you're going to see them in past question papers and don't skip them if they pay, the, the the question is telling you to draw a graph please draw that graph and learn how to draw a proper graph a quick proper graph and then the other thing that a lot of people this is the trick okay if you do not know how to answer a question if you do not know how to answer a calculation i am asking you to do this one thing for me write the formula please write the formula sometimes writing the formula can also lead you to see where you are so you can if you don't write the formula then get the mark okay so write the formula that you think is supposed to be used in that question if you don't know it maybe you can get a one mark for a formula but the people that i'm talking with here i guarantee you guys please be serious about it i want you guys to get distinctions i did it and i think you guys can do it too so the other thing that um, i would like to tell you about physics is that physics and chemistry is that you have to do your trial examination past papers begin with them i remember let me tell you a quick story this one i keep repeating year after year to anyone who's willing to hear because it's so important when i was writing my final examinations i went to my teachers and i said to them i do not have trial examination papers and i really want to practice them so they started giving me one a day and i would go home do that paper all of it bring it back and give it to them to say this is the paper i did please mark for me and they would show me and they eventually started saying that this person is really serious so they used to give me papers and i would do them and i would take them back to my teacher let me tell you i did an examination paper and it was from a certain province i think it's northern cape and i remember that question was so tricky i had to ask my teacher on whatsapp using my grandmother's phone i told you guys don't use whatsapp when you're writing your final examination like um and then I used my grandmother's phone. I texted and told her that this question is really hard. Please help me with it. And she helped me. Did I not see the exact same question? It's just that numbers were different, but I saw the same exam, like the exact format coming on an examination that I was writing for physical sciences in 2021. And I was like, wow, that question would have killed me if I had not practiced that question paper. So it's so important to do your trial examinations first do all of those trial examinations and go forward to do your final examination papers for physics that is if you are in 2024 you're going to do 2023 2022 and 2021 did i not like i think i am clear in that department but here's the thing if you can do more i do encourage you to do as many question papers as you can the more practice that you can get it's the more that you're going to be able to answer in the exam room and the other thing which is going to be the last thing that i give you guys on is that you know what god is faithful and god can turn anything that you dream of into a reality and i am a walking testimony of that fact that what god started in your life is going to bring it into completion so i am going to wish you a successful physical sciences paper and from my heart to yours i hope you are blessed and i can't wait to hear from you when you tell me that you've gotten your physical sciences distinction for those who are going to be doing careers that require physical sciences i am giving you a shout out i envy you because i used to love physical sciences so much so oh also in medicine there's also physical sciences that's a good fact to know so please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel 
Also, please do not forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't for forget to follow me on TikTok as well. I also love the comments that you guys give me because it actually gives me an idea of what you guys want me to talk about. And when you ask questions, I am noting all of them. Some of them I will answer using a video. Some of them I will personally go to the, like I will personally answer them in the comment section. So please do comment. Um, and this is it from me.